Hello, welcome back to Learning with Ms. H. This is my Earth Science course. We are on the main page here. We're going to go through and click on Modules. And when you get into this page, what you're looking at is the actual modules. So at the top, my virtual class has a link for the Zoom info. Uh, my in-person class does not have that link because that is only for my virtual students, regardless of which section you are in. We've already done the assignments for the first week, so I'm going to close that and get those minimized and out of the way. The Zoom information is also on the home page at the very first announcement, and then on the resources page. I'll go ahead and show it to you here. There's a link right here. Um, Zooms are the beginning of sixth hour each day, and the schedule for what time we meet each even day is right there. Um, so even days, come see me beginning of sixth hour. We'll be in there for about 20 to 30 minutes. Um, we do get started right away, so please make sure you are on time. If you arrive late, you will probably come in in the middle of class, which is fine. You're welcome to come in any time, um, but you'll miss some stuff at that point. All right, so we're going to start with the vocabulary lesson, Monday, August 30th. So on this vocabulary lesson, we went over this a little bit on Friday. But I'm going to go through this again. So bell work, you're just going to do this on your own in your notebooks. Um, write down, if you think it's important for schools to teach astronomy, why or why not? Something to think about. Um, our first unit is astronomy, and we're going to begin astronomy until about mid-October. So it's a pretty significant chunk of time. So the lesson for today, you're going to be working on your vocabulary. There's a link to your homework assignment right here. You can also find it down here in the assignment section. I'm going to go ahead and open that up in a new tab. Your homework has the terms that you will need to use to do the vocabulary assignment. The instructions are all right here. We're going to go through this again. Um, basically, what you're going to do is you are either going to click right here to make a copy of the vocabulary template or you can complete it in your notebooks, take pictures of it, and insert those pictures into a Google Doc to submit to me. Um, the format's always going to be the same. Word definition picture, put it in your own words. Um, there's also use it in a sentence on here. The terms you should be using are in the chart. Um, this used to be a three column chart and it was confusing students, so I just made it one column. So all of these terms are what you're going to be putting on your vocabulary template. There's roughly 37 of them, and you'll have four boxes per term. So this is embedded right here for you to see all of these terms that you need to use. And then here's a link to that template again. If you click that, it's going to force you to make a copy of it. So you click Make a Copy right there. So these are the words you're going to use. This is where you're going to turn it in. Here's a sample of the template again. So this is what you'll see when you make a copy of the document. There's instructions at the top, and then you have the template here. So for every vocabulary word that is in this table, so all of these words, you are going to do these four things. You're going to put the term right here. You are going to explain it in your own words. And what I mean by that is if you were trying to tell a friend what this word means, what would you say? The definition here is the actual dictionary definition. When you look it up, what does it say the term means? And then a sentence, you're going to either use it in a sentence yourself. You can find a sentence that's used in online or in any of our lessons and put that sentence here. This just gives you context to help you remember the meaning and how to use the word. And then this box here is to find a picture and insert it if you're doing it digitally. If you're doing it on your notebook, you can just sketch a picture. It does not have to be literal. Any image that is school appropriate that reminds you of that term will work. Scroll down a little bit and you've got an example. The term is the sun. Here's what I would say if I was explaining it to a friend. Here's the dictionary definition summarized. My picture of the sun and then I use it in a sentence. Once you've finished all 37 words or however many there are for each unit, you will either 
click text entry and you can copy and paste your work into the text box that's down here below or you can click the upload button. Now I've been having a lot of students send me a link or upload and copy and paste a link in here. Um, you can't do that. You have to actually attach the file right here. So you are going to Google Assignments tab, select your drive, Select your drive. Um, I've paused the video while I was selecting mine. Choose the document you want to attach. Click Add. Click Attach. And then your document's right there. Okay. So once you do that, you've got your document attached. I only need one here. You're going to click Submit Assignment, and then you're done. Please, please, please remember that when you do this, you have to have all of these words done, four boxes per word, in order to get points for this assignment. If you turn this in partially done, you will get partial credit. This is your document that you will get if you click the Make a Copy link. It is also right here again. This is the assignment page. Your explanation of what to do. Um, the link that you have will have this knowledge level on here. I need to fix that in the example down here. I don't have knowledge level, um, but I will fix it in that example. But your document that you have will have knowledge level. You do need to rate how well you know the term or how comfortable you are with it. If you rate it at a four, that means I've got this. Why are we even bothering to learn this? I've known this forever. A one is, what the heck is that? I have no idea what that means. So rate your comfort level with the word. Um, four is the highest, one is the lowest for each and every word as well. So go through and do that. Do your assignment. Click Submit when you're done. This is not due until October 8th, so you have several weeks to work on this. Um, don't forget, you can inbox me through Canvas if you have questions, and you can always, if you are virtual, join the Zooms the beginning of sixth hour every even day. We'll see you next time.